the next episode of straight six hour parts and again we're here in beautiful california and it's getting hot actually it's like over 80 degrees right now and here i think it's hot not because of the weather i think it's hot because of the car in here look what we got it's the 2015 bmw m6 that came to us from san diego copper with the rear end damage as you can see the car is white on the black interior but the reason we bought this car is that it's the built engine. It's got the forged pistons, forged throats, everything rebuilt like about 20,000 miles ago. And the previous owner, we actually have all the receipts from the previous owner. He paid 14,000 just to build the engine. And then on top of that, he installed the pure stage two turbochargers on it, downpipe, stage two clutch, for the transmission that's the dct transmission and there was something else i forgot just the basic maintenance like coils all of that cheap maintenance stuff i'm not counting on that in addition to that he installed a, some kind of straight pipe exhaust i don't know what kind of brand that is right now we will see once we get the car on the lift but I'm, I can tell it's pretty loud. The car has 63,000 miles on it and the condition is just perfect. And it's perfect example for us to part it out because it has rear end damage and usually nobody wants to get any parts from rear end um, except of the rear bumper and tail lights. There is nothing else on the back as we know. Oh yes, I forgot to mention that's the Grand Coupe, M6 Grand Coupe, which is the body style F06. It's like the coupe, but with the four doors, kind of sit down coupe. And again, I'm, I'm dancing it here. So, I think I covered pretty much everything as far as basic stuff. The car is running, I'm trying to warm it up a little bit so we can hear the exhaust, we can rev it up, we can check the engine. I actually did check the engine already. And uh, we have some marks of the tires in here that's how i check the engine and the transmission and everything so but anyway let's double check it one more time i will show you on the video everything and uh let's go ahead and check the car damn you just look at those wheels that's actually our wheels that we gave to the guy so he can swap them and keep his old wheels when he put it at the auction and then we bought the car back with those wheels 
So these rules came to us back like the second time. Then what we have? Oh, those beautiful adaptive LED headlights. Wow, wow. Immaculate condition front bumper for M6. Do you see the gap in here? Huh. Something has been happened to this car. But anyway, let's keep going. For me, it looks fine. Black glossy kidney grills with the M6 logo on it. I hope it's original. Carbon fiber lip in beautiful condition. 500 bucks. Local pickup, cash only. No returns, no warranty, nothing. Just first come, first serve. Coming to the back, we have side view cameras. Beautiful. Super huge. Huge calipers from M6 and huge rotors on the back, not same like calipers. The car is running as you can see. But anyway, let's keep going. I will show you the damage on the back. It's it's actually easy to fix. But we are not rebuilders. We have this is a project to fix 2020. But this one 2015, too old. 5,000 miles, 63,000 miles. Guess what would fix? And uh, look at the exhaust. It's bent completely. And the trunk, trunk could uh, get damaged. Yeah, as you can see, it's not the metal. It's the carbon, carbon fiber thing. Or what's it called? That thing. Uh, as far as damage, that's it. Just the rear quarter right here. And as I said, it's the Grand Coupe. And what I like about the Grand Coupe, oh yeah, it's the four door, and you can enjoy on the back. This seat's super nice, so comfortable to sit on the back. Damn, enough space. I'm not that, oh, it's not folding, damn. And look at that beautiful headliner. It's the Alcantara headliner with the uh, with, uh, leather middle in it so this is the leather napa leather very soft one and this is the alcantara and everything alcantara in here oh damn it's getting hot in here let's get outside actually we can turn on the fan in here it's getting cold let's just chill in here now let me let's keep keep going and because i need to show you the car let's keep going let's get outside oh and the car has rear sunshades but they don't work rear thing rear nothing nothing damn as the previous owner said everything in beautiful condition but as you can see right now nothing nothing is working okay what well, we got in the front let's have a look let's have a seat in in here and yes and yes look at those beautiful m6 sport seats for m6 only unique let's have a seat inside of course, we got our carbon fiber everywhere in here. That's the DCT transmission over here. CIC navigation, but for some reason screen doesn't work. I don't know why. Let's turn the heater off. Do we have a music? Of course we don't. I don't know what's going on with that thing. We will need to test it on other car. Uh, and uh, I know who did that. It's supposed to be a small round steering wheel airbag and the new sport m sport like the m m5 steering wheel in here i know the guy who stole it before they took the car to the auction but i'm not gonna tell his name and also look at the uh, look at the mirrors look at the mirrors it was carbon fiber and he swapped them with his like the ugly color what's that like the blue or what's that aqua some kind of color it has to be carbon why well, i'm telling you bring back the carbon fiber and take your ugly one <laughs> no i'm just kidding it's not ugly it's like the weird color of course black shadow lime all over the place oh yeah carbon fiber roof with that line in it okay let's so i think the car is warm right now and let's get inside and see if we can rev it up a little bit Woo! as i said before 63,000 miles on it Woo! we got our check engine light because we have down pipes in here
awesome. Let me put the camera on the back and I'll let you hear it. You can enjoy now. Let's go. <laughs> How was it? <laughs> Do you want to hear it from under the hood? Let's go. Everything running, everything in pristine condition. So, I'm a brother. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? All right, take care. That was funny. <laughs> the guy was the towing guy was just passing by and he saw those wheels on the car and he, he stopped by. Hey, how much for the wheels? He said, like a thousand bucks. He said, I will take them tomorrow. Okay, so, <laughs> so I think we should be good at this point. I checked pretty much everything, uh, we have all the goodies like the comfort access, it's, it's all good, uh, what's it called, the soft closed doors, it's all good. We need to check the music, the amplifier, we need to find out what's going on with the screen and we also need to check if our uh, CIC controller is working. Everything else looks fine, the engine is running, it's beautiful, it's like running for a couple hours already. So. Transmission is good, I checked that. That's pretty much it. All the main components, I checked them all. The only small like electronic stuff doesn't work. Oh, and for some reason those sunshades, they don't work on the back. And also front windows don't work, I don't know why. I can lower the rear windows, but I cannot lower the front one. And also let's check the mirrors, if I can fold them. are good so just a few items that uh, that we need to check everything else just fine I'm happy with the car it's all good I think we are ready to get this one inside and we will take it apart you probably thought that we we're gonna fix it but no we'll take it apart and all of those parts are gonna be available soon especially that engine with forged pistons and forged rods everything rebuilt and also, what's it called? SSP, Spec R, Spec R, that's the clutch on the transmission. SSP, Spec R, clutch, pure stage two, turbochargers, downpipes for S63, and built engine. I think I mentioned everything. Let's get the car inside and we will have some fun for the next few days. Let's go. Let's go, baby, let's go. And again, I wasn't kidding when I said we're gonna pop it out. As you can see, welcome, M6 stripped. So today we did the interior. Let's have a look what's inside. From inside, we removed pretty much everything. No dashboard, no seats. We only left the carpet. No, nobody would buy a carpet. No rear deck, no headliner. And as you remember, our headliner is Alcantara. This is the rear deck Alcantara one. And here is the, uh, super heavy. Uh, here is our Alcantara headliner. Alcantara and this is the leather in the middle. Super cool. That's only on, uh, I believe it's only on uh, Grand Coupe's four door. Our beautiful red wheels already sold, but the guy didn't pick them up. So they kind of still available. So first come, first serve. Uh, we didn't touch the, anything in here. Oh yeah, let's finish the interior. Did I cover everything? Yeah, I think I covered everything. And we're already doing pictures of everything. Door cards in here uh, with the Ben Olufsen, that uh, speaker grill, carbon fiber trim if you guys need that. Super cool uh, front seats only on M6. And that's the non-folding version for four-door Grand Coupe. On two-door, they folding. Our dashboard and uh, what else in here? It's the some, some random plastic from the trunk and uh, yeah, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, 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 the trunk is actually, it's not, it's like, oh, did I mention that? That, it, that it's carbon, look, look what inside. 
it's not metal. Oh yeah, by the way, we still have that red interior for M5 and uh, brown interior for 7 series and uh, brown interior for uh, Grand Coupe 4 series. And also I noticed that the hood is the same as the trunk. It's not aluminum on, as on just regular 6 series. It's the carbon hood and it's super light. That's why it's unique for M6 only. Don't think if we're gonna remove the carbon fiber roof because we removed it last time and nobody even asked us about that roof yet. So I think we should just leave it as is. Look at that, how we removed the dashboard <laughs> because we're not gonna keep the windshield. No, uh, Nobody would ask for that. I actually, there is a lot of people who is asking for the windshield, but it's super hard to remove it first and then it's super hard to ship it. So basically, if we would remove it, we would have to sell it locally and it's the chance to sell it local. It's like 1% out of 100, maybe once in a while somebody would buy it, but we don't have a space to store it, unfortunately, yet again, yet. What else do I need to cover? What else do you want to see? A dashboard door panels. Oh, and also we had, as I noticed after we removed the seats, I noticed the rear seats, they were went, went ventilated and the front seats ventilated as well. Let me just have a seat in here. Oh. We fold them, like tilted to the front. It's uncomfortable seat to sit right now because we did that just to make it easy to ship it and store it, to stand it like upright. I think that's gonna be it for today. We did the interior completely, it's done. Uh, the only thing that's left to put the car on a lift and remove the suspension, remove the wheels, remove the calipers, brakes. Yes, if you guys need those brakes, they will fit for your F30s. You just need to get that bracket. Like the uh, ceramic brakes, they do have that bracket. That's the one you need. These brakes, they don't have it. So basically, basically, carbon ceramic brakes, brakes on the F80 and uh, ceramic brakes on F10 and uh, 6 series, M6 and 5, they absolutely identical. Only the, the difference is on M3, like F80, you have additional bracket to fit it on, the, on your hub. Everything else is the same, but rears, yeah, they, rears are different. Rears are way better on the F80s. They four pistons. And as you can see on the M6, it's just uh, like the one piston, not even one piston, it's the ugly looking one. Two pistons, two pistons, yes. Uh, but we still have those big brakes, uh, rotors. I think that's gonna be it for today. And um, to be honest, I hate parting out those cars. I allow it because like we can help people to fix their cars. And at the same time, it's so hard to look at those cars when they stripped as this. Just look at it. Everything was fine with the car. We would like, it's not that hard to fix it super easy fix but salvage title and nobody would buy that salvage title unfortunately oh yeah and if you guys looking for the clean title we have one of them available because i don't know if we should part that out it's a 2011 bmw 135 with uh, some like minor issues with the engine i don't know it's something is knocking in in, in the engine but it's not significant like knocking i don't know what's that maybe you don't have to replace the engine maybe it's something minor i was thinking to fix that but now i, I realize we have way too many projects like to, we have two m4s uh we have the 335 f30 we have another 135 2013 manual so i think we would rather sell it as is uh instead of parting it out because it's the clean title it's the 2011 135 a dct transmission n55 engine uh, with 98,000 miles on it uh, and the interior looks pretty clean it's the M Sport package fully loaded like the black headliner sport steering wheel Harman Kardon sound system everything that you can imagine in that car and it's the one series and it was maintained super well it's got new like brand new tires Michelin Pilot Sport tires on it uh, new rotors, new, everything, new pads, new, like everything uh, maintained. I just don't feel comfortable to, to part that out because it's too good and it's clean title. I would rather offer it to you guys. But if nobody would of you would buy this car, we would have to do it. We'll part it out because there is no use for us for that car, unfortunately, at this point. I think that's going to be it for today. Let's go home right now and we will continue working on this car tomorrow on M M M6. 
I will show you more uh, of, of the what we will find once we take the car on the lift. The only thing that I found on this car is that, look at it. That's how the previous owner fixed the car. They didn't even put the curtain airbag back. They just, I think they just shortened it. Yeah, they just cleared the coats and that's it. The headliner was good. There was no damage to the headliner, but they didn't, didn't replace curtain airbag. That's the other good reason why we're parting it out and not fixing it. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today. Let's go home and we'll be back tomorrow. We'll do the front end. We will see what's inside of the engine. We will see what's like the, what kind of exhaust it has. Uh, pure turbos, pure stage two turbos in here. We will have them available for sale for S63 engine and uh, transmission with the, what was the SS, SSR spec R clutch or SSP. I forgot the name of it, but anyway, we will, we will, I will show it to you tomorrow. Everything mechanical stuff, uh, everything tomorrow and uh, see you in uh, five seconds. Let's go. We back and here is the car up in the air. Let's have a look what we have under it. Guys, the first thing that I can see, it's the mint condition lip for the front bumper. Immaculate. No damage to it. 500 bucks local pickup only. Then we have our huge calipers over here. Let's have a look at the, oh, worn out rotors, but the part's pretty good. Rotors, like it's done. You can even see those cracks. Then EDC suspension, the stock one. Is that an EDC? It is not what it is. I don't see that sensor for some reason. So I think it's not the EDC suspension. Huh, it's cheap ass version. Here everything stock, but here in the back we have our exhaust and cutlass downpipes. As you can see, if you can see it, let me get the flashlight. Yeah, that's the cutlass exhaust. And then I think it's the three inches pipes, two of them going all the way to the back. And on the back we have our exhaust mufflers and it's been damaged right here. What's that brand? Main Meister Meister Meistershaft BMW F12 F13 for M6 only. But I'm pretty sure they will fit for M5 as well. So everything looks stock besides that exhaust from the from the bottom of the car. Uh, let's also take a look if the differential has been replaced. The differential looks stock as well and it has some damage over here. Everything else stock, stock, stock. Rear rotors worn out as well and no pads on the back. That's what I expected to be honest from, from the bottom of the car, only the exhaust and nothing else. Everything else is stock because the, we have our stock exhaust of the stock differential, stock axle, stock suspension, everything stock. We'll see, we'll get deeper and uh, we'll see what else we have as far as upgraded parts in the bay, in the, in the engine in the engine bay. For now, let's just keep going and remove everything from the front. Our beautiful adaptive uh, LED headlights, uh, M M6 front bumper, M6 uh, fenders, they all unique. We got that our hood out already. Let's just keep going and we'll see what else we can find. We got the exhaust out and you can see it's empty over here, just the downpipes. And here is our exhaust. So this is the engine part and this is the mid pipes. Look at it, what a, what a beautiful welding. Nice job, nice job. Whoever did that, it's a nice work. And here is our mufflers, but one of them got damaged right here. And I think this one got damaged as well. Everything else looks okay, looks good, looks usable. You can just cut the tips off, re-weld it in here, and should be good to go. And as always, we got back and uh, I think we are ready to get the engine out. Before we do that, I will show you what we have on the car. Basically nothing. We got everything out from here. The suspension, uh, the hubs, brakes, brakes, by the way, from that M5 over here. Rotors, they worn out. So I think we're not going to sell them, but the calipers pretty good and pads, they still pretty good. We have our rear subframe in here. All the parts, rear suspension, front suspension, some radiators in here, some coolant pipes, everything in those boxes. We have our bumper over here. It's right here. 
and that's the radiator support that's our hood everything already pictured everything ready to go out and meanwhile we have water panel from f82 m4 it's going to new york i believe this one is going to new york and we have the other one that we will need for the other our m4 so two quarter panels gone in one day so cool and uh here is the wheels the guy who's supposed to pick them up the towing guy he never came back and so we still have it available if you guys need them brand new tires brand new wheels they have some car brush on it but you can see the sticker from from the, like the brand new wheels and let's have a look in here so here we have as i said suspend no suspension we remove the front bumper then we remove the headlights and we remove the radiator support we remove the radiators we got to this point where we have a lot of pipes the coolant lines everything in here just look at it on n55 and 54 you have just one single like not a single dual that line but here we have six of them coming to the other to different directions and uh we didn't get to the turbocharger yet but look at those pipes aluminum one no wait sounds like a plastic we will see once we get them out i have nothing on this side as well let's have a look on the back no rear suspension nothing from the back just empty shell we just left the gas tank and that's it what's left in the car have some random trash that's been damaged on the car and i think at this point we are ready to get the engine out and we will take a look what we will find inside basically i think everything is going to be stock except of the turbochargers and uh, the clutch transmission clutch let's keep going keep working and get the engine out let's go the engine is out and here is what we have i wish it can be just a regular one because this one is useless i mean not useless but still guys uh s63 down pipes if you need them you're more than welcome for track use only not for the regular like the rods only for like build cars as always super clean engine no 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 oil no oil in it in here let's have a look on the oil pan it's usually leaking on the oil pan no look at it beautiful condition engine oh yeah and uh, as we remember it's been built like 20 mile 20 000 miles ago as uh, as the previous owner told us it's gonna be hard i mean we're not gonna see anything inside because i don't think if we should open the engine because everything is just fine we don't have to mess with it the only thing that we will do we will take all of those messy parts like those all of those coolant lines we will take them all out and we will keep just a long block and also yes we will remove the turbochargers yes i forgot to mention whoever need those pure turbo stage 2 welcome it's gonna be available like right now five minutes and it's available so let's keep going with the engine i will once we get to the turbos i will show you how big they are but the car is just a shell that was perfectly fine beautiful white color m6 with like the 60 000 miles on it in built engine and now what we got we still got the built engine but here is everything from that m6 and whoever need parts dm us on instagram and let's get to the engine we will see what we will find i mean the turbochargers let's keep going just look how much space we got in here Ooh, and the whole tunnel is free why this bump in here oh look at the damage right here i didn't see that before but the damage is pretty bad wow the whole exhaust went to that thing so basically to fix that you're gonna need to cut the whole thing out and not the whole thing but too much of labor that needs to be done to this car to fix that and yeah let's get back to the engine
And we're back in here to our beautiful M6. It's no longer beautiful, probably. Here is the car. Just look at it. So we have nothing in the front except of those heat shields, but nobody would ever need them. Uh, some uh, brake booster, same thing. And uh, what's it called? Air. And yes, that's the blower motor inside of it, but nobody would ever need that thing. And we removed pretty much everything from the front in here and uh, from inside as well. But you can see a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of good parts inside. It's it's actually even more parts inside of the car than it was before we took it in. And same from the other side. We even had to wrap it because it's so it's this way it's not gonna be falling apart from inside. And here is our transmission DCT with upgraded clutch in it. Looks pretty pretty good. The engine just looks super clean. It's like brand new engine. Just look at that head. Yes, the, you, you can definitely tell the hat is, has been replaced. I mean, it, it maybe it wasn't been replaced, but they definitely uh, removed that and installed it back. And look at how clean everything I can, I can eat from here. Like maybe from here. Let's turn the engine and see from the other side. Still leaking coolant from the thermostat water pump, but it's okay, it's not the oil, it's not an issue. And yes, this engine looks were way better than your N54. Just look at the condition of it and look at your engine and compare it. So this is gonna be the end with this M6. If you guys, this, as always, if you guys need any parts from it, DM us on Instagram and don't forget to hit that like button down below. And the next car in line is going to be 2013 535 X-Drive. That's the F10 body style. 10 interior sport seats with a ventilated N55 engine in it. Passengers headlights survived. Completely smashed on the driver's side in the front. So let's get that one out, this one inside, and keep working. Let's go. What a guy. I totally forgot to show you pure turbos in here. Here we have a complete set turbos with the down pipes and with the inlets in here. So the left down pipe, right down pipe, and here is look at the size of those pure turbos they bigger than your single turbo guys just look at it almost brand new turbos let me see from the back yeah nothing else but the size of it is huge uh we're gonna be selling that as a set set with everything down pipes probably in pure turbos should we no we will split it i think a lot of people would be interested just in down pipes and some of the people already have those down pipes and they would be interested in um, turbochargers only and uh, inlets as well. And this is going to be the end of the video and see you the next time. I think I don't know what's going to be the next. I, the next one is going to be 2011 535, but we will not do the video for that one. It's it's just boring, boring car. It's not as fun as this one. Anyway, see you in the next video. Thank you.